Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to change the brake pads. It's very easy and it's done with just a few tools. You don't need that much tools. You can do it even at home on if, if you have a car jack, you can do it pretty easy. If you have a lift, it's obviously a little bit easier and it will take you roughly half an hour, 45 minutes if you do it uh, for the first time. But besides that, it's really pretty easy. I was asked to do such a video, so that's what I'm gonna do. And this video will be a few minutes, not that long, because it really isn't that complicated to change them. The rears are even easier. We're going to the racetrack in two weeks and so I'm changing back to the endless pads and that's why it's perfect opportunity to show you how it's done. So let's go! So it's pretty easy. The only thing you have to take out is this one at the back. That's just clipped in there. Then you have these two pins to take out. After you took out number one, you can just pull this one back. So you take off the tension. And after that, it just slips out. Uh, just make sure that's the direction the disc is uh, rotating so that would be the wrong side this one's correct next you just take one of these and they come out pretty easily you can see in here that's the titanium plate who should protect it a little bit better so these are just the standard bolt, uh, the standard pads, because uh, during winter I just used the standard pads instead of the endless ones. Hello. And this is how you take them out. And obviously in reversed order back in. So you don't need that much tools to take this out. Just a screwdriver and some sort of, I would suggest one of these. And you have to take, could take them out. So now I'm going to take out the disc as well. These need a bit of tools. You just need a 17 mil it is. And when you removed this bolt, you can just take out everything. Don't just leave it hanging on the brake line. And after that, you can just take away the disc. That's it. So to change the rear pads, we are going to do basically the same. You just have to take out this one right here. Then you can remove these two. Just also make sure this one looks in the right direction as you can see the rear are much easier so we're also gonna change the 
rear to endless. There are no titanium shims necessary at the rear. As you can see, they just slide right in. Pretty easy. And we're done. Ah, not yet. I'm sorry. I forgot one of these. And now we're done. And that's it already for this video. How you change the brake pads. If you want me to do more of how, I don't know how I, how I should call it, uh, how to do videos. How you do it i don't know just let me know in the comments and what you would like to see so that's it for this video thanks for watching have a nice day see you next time goodbye <laughs>